while. Whether you say Atlantic City, whether you say New York, whether you say Madison Square Garden, or, or, or any of the two big, big, big spots, if you're not talking about, um, you know, like uh, uh, football or soccer fields or anything like that, you're talking about inside venues, inside um, historic buildings that, you know, the Madison Square Garden, you know, we hear, right? This is the legacy that the Barclays Center will remember too, just like my fight. They remember this fight because this fight could have been anywhere. It could have even been out of the country, Saudi Arabia. You think they wouldn't pay millions of dollars the fuck they get this fight there? As much as they want to be in the business, I'm talking about the Saudis. They would have paid probably double. Who knows, right? They want to be in the game. So being in New York City, Brooklyn, or Crooklyn, come on, man. Come on, I feel like I'm back in when I was for Travis Cloud. <laughs> for the WBA, for the WBA uh, light heavyweight championship at 45, uh, well 47, excuse me. It's crazy. Bernard, uh, at the face-off uh, at the Empire State Building, you know, as a master of, of, of psychological warfare, you know, you, you know, like, you saw it, right? So, like, as a master of psychological warfare, that you were, you know, a master. De 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 Devin did slap Ryan, but. Ryan also got him to the point to react that way, right? And, I, and we haven't seen Devin react that way in really any match that he, I witnessed him being more of a calm, more of a, a person that, that, you know, take it on the chin when things are said and things are, are mentioned. But this particular time, he, he, he got, Ryan got a reaction out of him. And to me, that's saying that, you know, somebody didn't know something about getting in the head of your opponent. I mean, you know, I think hands down, people will understand that uh, if anybody want to speak on how effective that can be, it's Bernard Hopkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have a question about your Philadelphia brother, Jerome Boussinis. I don't signed. want to talk about Boussinis. I'm going to talk about what's happening now. That's his business. That's his problem. It becomes our business, Golden Boy, when he run into one of our guys. Um, this fight is so important to be distracted by whoever would think that anything else is important, especially talking to a promoter, especially talk to somebody that understands the business, to talk about Bruce Ennis or anybody else and not talk about this historic, important, dramatized fight that's happening this Saturday between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. What's your thoughts on Ryan Garcia uh Speaking of distractions and his promotion of the fight, uh, is it a distraction to you know his Twitter rants, the things he's talking about? Uh, how do you? We we not we. I would say they are saying it's a distraction. Until the outcome of Saturday, I'm pretty sure, I'm confident that you will see it was more of a motivation, but it was meant and put out there to be a distraction because who's talking about it? You, them, not I. And so I am asking questions about something that Ryan got those who want to ask me these questions about what he said. So who's being controlled? Who's being led down a whole alley to where they don't even know where they're going, but they're just repeating what they seen because they was fed by media content by Ryan Garcia. We all know that all that is out there, but it don't mean nothing. When Saturday night come and that bell ring and we all witnessing potentially history or not. That's what the balls have come down to. We less than 72 hours away. Am I right? 48 something, right? Do the math. If you want to count these hours, let's count them. I, I consider this day is over. As a fighter, though, you don't think it takes away from the focus, you know, no. you, you're known to lock in on No, fights. no, it don't take away the focus because if you look at things I've said, things I've done prior to the fight, you would be like, man, what Ryan doing is nothing extraordinary or outlandish and outrageous, rather, than what Bernard Hopkins did. And I mean, talking about the flag. 
You know how many Puerto Ricans still hate me today? And I've been to San Juan. That's the only time I lose weight when I go to San Juan because I don't eat nothing for three days. <laughs> so what are we talking about? We're talking about a strategy, or maybe not, on why and how this could affect either fighter, either person, Devin Haney or and Ryan Garcia. I said that it can motivate both of them to do what they set out to do and say what they're going to do. But now the, talk, the clock is ticking. The sand in the sand clock glass is almost over. After a while, there's no rap. When I go up there, when the main event come and Oscar call me up to the podium, I have no rap. There's nothing to talk about. We have a fight, which was questioned. 24 hours ago, 48 hours ago, 70 hours ago, going backwards. God knows we ain't going to talk about last week. We ain't supposed to be here, correct? It's nothing else for me to say other than say thank you and sit down, get your tickets, and I'm done. The shortest conversation I ever had in my life would be in a couple of minutes. My last question, my last question is, have you seen any difference in Ryan since he's been with Derrick James? And if so, uh, what, what can you kind of comment on that you've seen since he got Have I seen anything different since he or improved? Improved? Or improved. Uh, I believe his attitude improved. I believe what's make, what makes him comfortable that we might not understand is not our problem, is not his problem, is would he feel comfortable? Have I seen him elevate? Have I seen him improve? Derek James only been with Ryan Garcia, what, two years, year, whatever? A year, year and a half. I gave him two. So say a year and a half, right? So in a year and a half, Ryan had what, two fights? Three, two, three fights. He ain't had more than three. Correct? This is the second fight with Derek. Second one with Derek. So let me tell you something. The great man Stewart had fights, fighters he had one time. They didn't look like he had them for two or three weeks. So let's let's be. If we want to, I don't look for fairness, not from people, right? I look for ignorance and I look for understanding. So I'm gonna give you the understanding after the ignorance. They have a chemistry that suits them and feels to Ryan that he can work with James based on the chemistry that they have. And whether he or I think or someone else thinks that he is not learning or he's not uh, looking different than he did before James is unfair question. And, 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 and I'd be a fool to try to say yes or no. I can just say give it a little bit of time. They've only been together for two fights. Out of fairness, I mean, you know, if, fair, if fairness exists in this world, let's see what happens as time go on. I'm not saying two years. I'm not saying three years. I'm saying when he fight Saturday and win, not if, he wins Saturday and he gets another big fight. You don't go down from fights like this. You go up. That's why he want to get right back in the race. We got to give a guy of any sports, especially boxing, take away the fight after the tank fight, that was a warm-up. We all know what that was. I look at this from tank to Devin Haney. Well, but no, you know he fought the guy. I don't want to look at that. I look at that as getting to see if I really want to. That was just a little blow the dust off. Still got to be careful and respectful. He's still a fighter. Still need to be respectful. Or we wouldn't be here, correct? So look at, look at the tank fight straight to Devin Haney. Who does that in boxing? They ducking everybody. What do you think he learned from the tank fight to this fight? Not to get hit. <laughs> and to keep people out of his camp that he don't know. And even watch the people you do know even more. It's lessons and everything. Does Ryan have the fastest left hook you think in boxing right now? No, my sister burned that down. Give it up. Have you thought of uh, when, when he talks about, I might fight a year or break a shoulder? Is there, is there, we've seen things happen in big fights. Cabal Galata, Holyfield Tyson. You think he gonna tell, did Tyson tell you he was gonna bite Holyfield's ear? No, he did not. Uh, let's talk about the fights. I don't wanna talk about ear biting. I don't wanna talk about any stuff that, you know, 
as far as I'm concerned, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's commercial for a conversation that takes away, a, it's a distraction. Let Devin Haney be distracted. I hope he weren't about coming to wear earmuffs. Let, let, let Devin Haney be scratched. Well, he's distracted. promising a knockout and meeting Ryan in the seventh ring. What's wrong with that? Nothing, nothing. But I'm saying he never says things like that. To your point, is that Ryan getting him to change his game plan a little bit? We will see. Bernard, you've been visiting Ryan during this training camp. How, 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 how does he look? Looks great. He looks great. Looks focused. He looks great uh, when it comes to combinations and the punches. Um, and also, I see that he's uh, focused. I see his focus. Uh, he's looking at me when I talk to him. He's looking at his trainer when I'm talking to him. And he has to take that same energy and that same demeanor um, for the next two days into the fight. Because, look, Ryan been in the amateurs. He's traveled basically the world. He's been around all kinds of fighters, all kinds of personalities. I'm not saying he's a veteran, but he's not a rookie in, in, in controlling his uh, 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 fight mode emotions. Fight mode emotions. We all have it. We're getting ready for war. And if you don't look at it that way, you're in the wrong damn business. Young, old, or in the middle of, 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 of boxing, or say as a fighter, that's the mentality. And, and listen, if they listen to this videos of all these resources that interviewing me right now, if they wasn't thinking that, they're gonna be thinking they want to see this interview. Fans, are, fans are concerned. Fans are concerned if Ryan's gonna make weight. Is there a fine? If Who said that? Fans. There's been fans that expressed that they're. Concerned. I can't. Fans say that it's just a Santa Claus. <laughs> Come on, man. You want conversation? The fan says we gotta have talk about. We gotta answer or at least get some questions about something that makes sense. Well, fan says that he looks like. That fan could be in Europe. That fan could be on Mars. That fan could be anywhere. Why, why entertain us? A waste of time. I want to ask you this, champ. Uh, how do you to... feel? How do the how do the the, the 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 person that's delivering the message, which is the messengers who always get the bad end of the stick, okay, well, never sign up to be the messenger. I'm glad you asked. Well, how do you feel or see or think? When you see Ryan working with his shirt off, and you see Devin Haney working with two shirts, correct? Right, right. Well, uh, who look like who's trying to smother the body and let the heat marinate and hopefully sweat? You think we don't know that game? You think a fighter, an experienced reporter, don't know what that means? A guy with no shirt on, got weight problems, and a guy with two shirts on don't have weight problems. Duh. You don't need any degree from any university to at least make an educated guess that who looks like they're trying to lose weight. If that's even a conversation. I, for, if y'all cut this out, y'all cut out. I didn't bring this up. I'm pointing. He did. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking did. That guy right there. But Bernard, is that speculation uh, fair uh, where Devin Haney maybe something normal in the boxing league with two shirts on? Uh, but what's not normal? That's yeah. not normal. Well, for some people, it may be normal. Well, maybe because he's in Vegas and he's here. It's probably real cold here. You know? But I don't know. I, I, I just know the old tricks of the trade. I never had a problem with weight. Four pounds over my fighting weight when I fought seven years ago. I'm literally four pounds. I got on a scale today. So I have no problem with that, but I've been around situations where the landing of a plane, when they tell you, be 30 miles away and get all your goods and get all your stuff and make sure that everything in your seatbelt is on and they make a landing, correct? Now they tell you these things because they don't know if the landing is going to be rough or hard, but in boxing you do know what you're weighing around this time, less than 72 hours from the fight. You know what you're weighing. So if you need to shed off something or, or break a good, good sweat, guess what you're going to do? You go wear a coat, jacket, Abilene, lotion, Vaseline. Come on, man, you've been around this game. And my point, Bernard, is you know, <laughs> if it's okay to question those things, 
why is it not okay to question Ryan Garcia being thrown out of the Mets game or the things that he's been posting? Because you know why? You know why? You know why? Because they heard he really don't like the Mets and they don't want to go ahead and give him a Mets shirt. <laughs> they did that to the, they did that to me before. <laughs> not here, but you know what I mean, Philadelphia. I really, we had a bad team. Well, Bernard, I think there is. Bernard, I think there. Great start. You think this Bernard, might go I don't you think he's, he's causing us to have the questions that we are here asking and the concerns for those of us that have followed Ryan for the last five or six years? I think he in your head. I think he in your head. I think he in your head. And I'm Crystal Hart reporting from the Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, New York. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at the fights.